Lying has become just another tool in the charlatan's arsenal. The former president lied to us more than 30,000 times during his four... Thank you. <laughs> ...years in office. And he's keeping up the pace in his current campaign of retribution. But with all his lies, he can't hide his soul. He attacks the weak, destroys the gifts of nature, and shows disrespect, for example, by using Pocahontas as a slur. I want to bring back in my co-hosts, David and Terrence, and joining us for reaction is Kaylin Dorr, RAP contributor and former chief marketing officer for the Trump 2020 campaign. Uh, welcome, gen gentlemen. Uh, Kaylin, I guess your first reaction to this, because um, we're not really surprised that Hollywood went here, but 30,000 times, that's, that's amazing. I'd, I'd honestly like to see that list. <laughs> Well, the, my first reaction is, what does this have to do with anything? Right. I mean, it's, it's, yeah. it's, right. <laughs> this is so like plainly an attempt to draw more attention to an award show that literally no one has watched. Um, it's it's really sad. And I think Robert De Niro has zero credibility here. He played Robert Mueller on SL for several years. Uh, I mean, the guy is an absolute joke between him and Ben Stiller. Are you ready? Terrence and David like this. Between him and Ben Stiller... The only person I want to hear from from the Meet the Parents uh, set is Jinxie Cat. Okay, I'd rather hear from the cat than Robert <laughs> De Niro. It's out of control. Yeah, no, I think you're 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 spot on on that, Kalen. Hey, look, he, here's there's so much to say about this, right? But in, in, sadly, there's so much to say about De Niro. Um, let, let's start with this. Uh, the reason, first of all, who cares about what Robert De Niro has to say? But but here's the problem. Uh, the, the liberal media, the legacy media, the CNNs, the MSNBCs, they run with this stuff. So they create the narrative, right? And so then this is fodder for them. And therefore, that becomes all of a sudden ink above the, if not above the fold, even if it's below the fold, they're spending time on this when they can be spending a whole lot of time doing some other things that are actually important to the country, like, you know, maybe doing some investigative work at the border. X, Y, and Z. This is the type of crap that they peddle in. So that's part of the problem here. But this, it's really rich of Robert De Niro talking about Trump lying when Joe B Biden is the father of lies. And yes, I said father of lies on purpose, uh, because the truth of the matter is, is that he has lied at least 16, maybe more times regarding his family's business dealings. Uh, look, he had a drop out of a previous presidential campaign because of pla plagiarism. Uh, and then we can go on about how he's lied about the border and inflation and the economy. I mean, just down the list. So so it's really rich of Robert De Niro. If he's going to talk about lying, he might want to put Biden on his list as well, Terrence Bates, or just Terrence. I'm sorry, just Terrence. Uh, oh, I, you were going in there. I was like, okay, he's, he's hot. Kaylin, let me ask you this, though. I want to kind of switch gears a little bit because I'm curious as to if all of this ultimately benefits Donald Trump. And, and bear with me here. Here's my reasoning. So this is obviously an award show where most of the people probably aren't in support of Donald Trump. Yet still, Donald Trump is a focus of the conversation there. Does that ultimately benefit him and continue to push him, even in an environment that's not necessarily supportive of him, but it shows that they're obviously he concerned about Donald Trump? Well, I think you hit the nail on the head. When you do things like this, you've got to think about the audience at the end of the day, right? And Robert De Niro's audience is obviously uh, a very far left leaning, uh, out of touch pocket of reality here in the United States that uh, is guilty of everything that they you know, accuse others of being guilty of. Uh, and I, I think this does everything to help President Donald Trump, if only because the most valuable thing you can be is anti-establishment, uh, is to be hated by those who have kind of run our country to the ground. And uh, by making these statements, by doing this, Robert De Niro is clearly planting a flag that you know Donald Trump is just that. So uh, mm. I think this does nothing but add to you know his character. Uh, I think this is an endorsement, if anything, by Robert De Niro. I want to vote for the guy that Robert De Niro hates uh, every time, and I think that's what this is. Yeah, and this bit about this campaign of retribution. Someone should send a mem memo to the Dems that the only people that vote for them don't ever use four-syllable words, right? Multi-syllabic <laughs> words should not be put in their campaign slogans because no one that votes for them understands them. I'm sorry, it's just the truth. Kaylin Dorr, uh, we always appreciate you being with us. Thank you so much.